Good morning, Beach Bums. Welcome back to the channel. Starting this morning in the house. It's actually 5 in the morning, 5 a.m. Today, we are actually filming a clickbaiters video. But before we get started, because we're getting a later start, we're not meeting up until like 8.30 or 9. I'm going to go and try to catch a fish for lunch and or dinner because my wife has been gone. She's been out of town with Annalise. They've been on vacation and I had to stay here because I had a lot going on. I have one of the most incredible wives ever. Courtney is so sweet. She cooked me several meals to be prepared while she was gone, but she's been gone a while and we are out of food. So my only chance for survival is to go and catch fish for dinner. She'll be back real soon. So I don't need a whole lot of food, but I've cleaned out the kitchen. So today we're gonna keep a fish <laughs> so I can bring it home and eat it. But I only have like an hour to fish. So I don't have a ton of time. So hopefully I can pick up a fish so that I don't starve today before we have to film our clickbaiters video. And then I will come back here and cook it. So I'm gonna head to the beach. I think I have a pretty good opportunity at catching a particular fish for dinner. We'll see if we can make it happen. I've got the Salt Strong Moonwalker. Gonna see if we can find us some trout. I was here the other day and they were fired up. Oh, first cast, they're already blowing up on it. We need some dinner. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, there's some bait right there. Oh, there he is. He jumped out of the water for that. There was some bait right there getting worked by this fish. I'm gonna back down that drag. That was like my second or third cast. Woo! Oh goodness. <laughs> He's taking me down the beach. Nice fish, nice trout. Feels heavy. Oh gosh, he pulled off right there. That fish kind of looked big. I, I don't, I don't like keeping big ones. I'd rather keep a little bit smaller trout to eat. But that was dinner. <laughs> no, you don't ever know how many opportunities you're gonna get. On the uh, struggle bus here, I felt like getting to blow up and getting to hook up that quick. We were gonna get a little bit more action, but struggling working my top waters in the surf I have people mention how fast I work these lures I've noticed in the surf in particular a fast retrieve tends to get them fired up and really interested in your bait faster than you would if you're inshore trout fishing now I still will throw in the pauses and stops, but working that lure, I'm working it pretty quick. That's also because it's not flat calm out here. You know, this, this is a calm day, but when you're relative to top water fishing, there's a, there's a lot of chop going on here. You know, this is a difficult thing to work around sometimes. So you kind of have to move that lure a little bit quicker just to get it working. So, First three casts this morning, two blow ups, one hookup. I've since then probably casted a hundred times or more with nothing. I'm using the Salt Strong Moonwalker again in this video. I've been using it a lot lately, testing it out, seeing how I like it. Really enjoy using this lure, it casts great. It's got a great sound to it. It's got incredible hardware. I don't know if you can see that. It's got the single hooks on there but uh, they are very strong, stout, very good hooks. Cool thing about Salt Strong, they let you try everything for free. You do need to buy one to get one for free with the Moonwalker, but I've got a link in the description below if you wanna take advantage of that and try these lures out. You can buy one, get one for free. Make sure you check it out. Let's get back to fishing. Aside from there being a little more texture in the surf, we've got pretty decent top water conditions. We got overcast skies, you know, it's still early in the morning. Oh. There we go, there we go. I didn't even know he had it. He must've hit it and swam in. Okay, finally got a fish hooked up again. 
hopefully we can keep this one pinned. I, I didn't get a hook set or anything because I didn't even know this fish was on. There's a lot of dolphin out further. Oh man, this is a heavy fish. Goodness. Okay, I want you to stay on, fish. I need dinner. I need dinner. Good trout. It's harder to land these fish in the surf when you got this much wave action. He's trying to swim down the beach. Man, he's strong. Okay. Okay, I need you to just come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Wow. This fish does not want to come on the beach. Good gracious. Wow. What a fish. That is a big one. I need dinner, but I don't think I can keep this one. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, let's get a quick measure. 22. That's a common fish. This one's fat, legal. I need dinner, but I think this one's full of row. We're gonna let her go. We're gonna do the right thing. Big fish, big trout, really big trout. Look at that, fatty, okay. I'm hungry, but I'm letting you go, fish. There she goes, easing off. Huh, I need a smaller one. <laughs> I need a smaller fish. I don't have a lot of time, but I felt like that was the right thing to do. I'm out of time. I've got to go and meet up with the clickbaiters to work on a video for that channel. I don't know if I made the right decision or not letting that trout go. I don't know if I should have kept it for my food source, but I feel like I did the right thing. So I don't really have a lot of options, but there is one more thing that I can do to make sure that I can eat today. I have not cooked ramen in a long time, so I haven't had this since I was probably a teenager. Courtney and Annalise, I miss you. I'm hungry. We're gonna eat some ramen. I'm gonna cook it up, and uh, we'll see what I remember about it. I remember liking it. I remember thinking ramen was pretty good, but it, it has literally been years. I, I cannot remember the last time I've eaten ramen noodles, and since I released that fish, that's what we're gonna eat. It was 37 cents, can't beat it. Our defeat meal is prepared and it looks pretty good ramen is uh smells good this is the chicken flavor which is what i would eat most of the time when i was a teenager and i saved a feet meal i caught a trout and i caught a pretty dang big one it was it was way tougher than i thought it would be but i feel like i did the right thing let me know your thoughts in the comments if uh letting that fish go was the right thing to do or if i should have brought it home for a more quality meal than ramen noodles. They're good. I, uh, man, that takes me back. I ate ramen noodles a lot when I was a kid, teenager. I don't think they're good for you, to my understanding. I don't think it's the healthiest thing to eat. But for 37 cents, you can't beat it. Courtney, Annalise, I love you. I'm ready for you to be back home. I've been a, a bachelor here for a while. I've been working on the Salt Strong course. You may have heard me mention it a, a couple times. I've posted a few things about it, but I was filming all this past week, leading into this week, as I'm filming this beach fishing mastery course that we're doing with Salt Strong. That's gonna be coming out hopefully next month. So, or I don't know when you're seeing this, but hopefully in, sometime in May, that should be coming out. We'll let you know. We go really in depth in this course on a lot of information to help you catch more fish in the surf I will explain more later, but definitely something you're gonna to wanna to pick up. It's gonna really up your game. If you're trying to learn more about surf fishing, questions that I get all of the time, we answer them. It's in this course. You could probably only even find, even if you watched every single one of my videos from beginning to end, you could probably only find about 30% of the information that we cover in this course. We get so in depth. So definitely something you're gonna to wanna to pick up. But uh, I'm gonna enjoy my ramen noodles and the rest of my evening here at the house without my wife, ready for her to be home. She'll be home in the next day or two. She's been gone about a week, and uh, I'll be glad when she's back. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And as always, 